there's a reason for this song. And the reason for this song is that we actually share a bunch of roots in this music from when we were kids because there were these oat burners that happened on Saturday Matinee movies. And we both watched them, and that's where we got introduced to the idea of singing cowboys. And that's where I learned about Gene Autry and I learned about the whole business of being a guitar player. Because back at that point, there weren't any Eric Clapton or Jeff Bass and people like that. There weren't any Beatles. It's like playing the guitar was a sort of radical idea instead of playing the piano. I want to play the guitar. So when I was about seven years old, the guitar. Yeah, he had a pretty big guitar. Yes, he did. He had a guitar as big as that. Yes. He put his name on the red <laughs> And then this uh, adventure started to unfold because guitar players started showing up on the radio. They started showing up in my world because Elvis showed up in my world. And Ricky Nelson showed up in my world. And then this amazing thing happened, which is about the same time as Sando and Johnny had the first really advanced guitar sound not recorded anywhere. <laughs> and Marty Robbins had this amazing guitar player. And Grady Martin. And in a lot of ways, it hasn't gotten any better. song that isn't El Paso, but is Marty Robbins, and is pretty <laughs> Childhood memories, I treasure most, I suppose. On Saturday afternoons, spent at the town's picture show. Street. 